If you want to get verified on Facebook, it's very simple to do through Account Center. But if you do it through your mobile application, you're going to pay $15 a month so that Facebook can pay the surcharge that Apple charges on in-app purchases. But if you do it through the web, you're only going to pay around 11 bucks. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to get verified on Facebook through a web browser. Come to your web browser and you want to type in accountcenter.facebook.com and then press enter. And it's immediately going to log in to your Facebook account. And you can see right here in my account center that I have two Instagram accounts set up. One of them is a dummy account, and we'll come back to that in a minute. And you can see that my Facebook account is highlighted while my two Instagram accounts are grayed out. So if I come to the left and I come all the way down to the bottom, you can see that Meta Verified is right here. And if I click there, this is where you would normally choose the accounts that you're able to verify. And so for my Instagram, I'm not yet able to verify it, but I'm still on the wait list because these are very new Instagram accounts and I probably need to meet the minimum requirements of regular usage for those accounts to qualify for Meta Verified. But let me show you what it looks like if I did the same thing from Instagram. And so all I typed in was accountcenterinstagram.com and that is accounts center and so it's very hard to pronounce because it ends with a soft s and then center begins with a soft s sound but it's accounts center instagram.com and then it brought me here but if you notice something that meta verify is not present also if i open the instagram app and then i tap on settings and i tap on meta verified you can see that my Instagram accounts are not yet available for Meta Verify, and so I'm still on the wait list. And so that may be a reason why I don't see it here. But type in accountcenter.instagram.com and see if you find the Meta Verify option here on the website so that you can save because a lot of people have been commenting saying they can't find it on the web. And it's almost as though you can only sign up for Meta Verify for Instagram in app only, which if that's the case, then you're going to be forced to pay the 15 or so dollars a month for verification. But let's go back to Facebook. So I want to choose this account because it's available. And these are the different features that you get when you sign up for Meta Verify. So for me, none of this stuff is actually worth it unless you're using the profile to actually make money. I don't use this profile primarily to market for my business or any offers like that at the moment but if i wanted to get ver meta verified i would simply click this button right here get meta verified and then i would set up the payment and so because i'm going through the website right here you can see that i'll be billed 11.99 per month on this profile but after you pay to complete your meta verification subscription they're going to confirm your identity by sending in photocopies of your id and also if they're unable to confirm your identity they'll refund your payment and refunds can take up to 60 days. And I've heard some people having problems with their Apple Pay being locked up uh, and being unable to use it, you know, because of issues with refunds with Meta Verify. So just make sure before you tap this Pay Now button that you have everything in order and that you're ready to go. But very quickly, that has been how to sign up and how to get verified for Meta on Facebook. If you want a more detailed analysis of how I feel about Meta Verified and some of the drawbacks of it, then I have several videos on the channel and I'll link one right here. There are some things you may want to consider before you sign up for Meta Verified because you can still do all of those things with your business and your profile without actually signing up for Meta Verified.